Hi, my name is Laurie Sinnott. I'm a solutions consultant with Bizarji. We're going to take a real quick look today at how Bizarji can be used in accounts payable, in particular through agentic automation. Taking a look before, Bizarji and agentic automation, a typical kind of invoice processing. Our PDF invoices are coming in. The emails are being picked up by the procurement analyst who's got to do transcription of the invoice from that PDF and actually do the manual searching for potential purchase orders that are associated with that invoice or vendor and then start categorizing the invoice and line items for the accounting system well, approximately 15 or so minutes and across a course of 60,000 invoices that's a considerable amount of time. After Bizarre and Agentic Automation, those emails are still coming in from the vendors or suppliers, but Bizarre is automatically picking up those emails now, ingesting them, getting the information and the attachments, and automatically starting an accounts payable business process. And then the first of our AI agents is extracting the text and the values from that invoice into a standardized format pushing that on to the second agent, which is about matching the invoice, looking for possible matches against purchase orders in the system, and then pushing it actually onto the procurement analyst, effectively the checker in this maker checker paradigm. And the procurement analyst is simply gonna now review the results of that matching. Either they've matched or they haven't matched. Maybe if they haven't matched, the analyst will do the search for them herself. And then for each invoice, we're down from that 15 minute window to maybe one or two, maybe three minutes. And again, we can deal with invoices in multiple languages. So we've sent our invoice in. Bazaji has picked up that email through its triggers, analyzed the email, started an accounts payable process. And those two agents have run. Firstly, the extract agent, getting all the details from the invoice and the matching agent. And in this case, an automatic email is sent to the procurement analyst to say, yep, the invoice has been received and the system's been able to match this against a known purchase order. And so that's where we need to go and review the case. If we go over to our procurement analyst, Martha, and her app, she's also doing some work on procure to pay, but she's got a specific accounts payable area where she can see not just the matched, invoices that are in need of review, but the invoices the agent hasn't been able to match against a known vendor. Let's pick up that invoice that was matched for our review and verification. And so what we see is all of the details of the invoice that's been picked out by the extract agent, the subtotal attacks who it was received from. And we also get the details now of the match. The matching agent thinks it's found a match against a particular purchase order. And so these are the details of that purchase order from our vendor EMB Tech. The order was for some office supplies, standing desk, keyboard support. And if we look at the invoice details, yep, the vendor's EMB Tech. Looking at the invoice file, yep, got the same vendor EMB Tech standing desk keyboard supports so that does appear to be the match that we were looking for so in this case we can confirm that there was a match and we can just go okay checked and all good let's quickly look at the other scenario where the invoices haven't had a match that matching agent doesn't think it's been able to find anything and in that case our procurement analyst again we'll see the details of the invoice that came in 14840 there's the particular invoice for that laser printer toner but like i say with the agent not being able to make the match the procurement analyst does have the ability to do a search against the purchase orders in the system themselves um, we might search by the vendor name or the purchase order number or the value. Let's just look at the vendor name. And in this case, actually, that might be the promising one. It was around $14,000. So we could pick that, have a check. Indeed, laser printer toner there. 
And indeed, we might then say, yeah, we found a possible match. And that would be pushed on then to our manager just to confirm that match. Or indeed, if we've searched here and we can't find a match, we could add the relevant notes. So yeah, we haven't found a match. Send that on. But in this case, we have found a match. So yeah, it looks like that's the invoice. So looks like the invoice is okay. And send that on for a possible match there. And that's been moved on to Camillo, who's our manager, who will then give it one final check. Again, a three eyes principle before authorizing that payment. And that goes on to the ERP system. So agentic automation in accounts payable can really help with matching invoices, extracting invoices, and doing a lot of the manual effort that usually is required with the handling of those invoices.